Hello, welcome to C video tutorial. In this session, I am going to teach you C tokens. So, what are C tokens? C tokens are the basic building blocks in a C language which are constructed together to write a C program. In order to write a C program, C tokens are very essential. Each and every smallest individual units in a C program are known as C tokens. C tokens are of six types. They are keywords, identifiers, constants, strings, special symbols, operators. So coming to the keywords, the example I have mentioned here is int or while or some other keywords we can find. I will explain you a little bit later. Identifiers, for example, main, total, constants, 10, 20 or any other constants, strings like within a double quote it is represented. Here we have represented string total within the double quote that is considered as a strings. Here hello. Special symbols, it may be a round bracket, flower braces or square braces etc. Operators. Operators may be the addition, there is a plus, slash, minus, division, multiplication, etc. So, coming to the keywords. So, what are keywords? The keywords are predefined words in a C compiler. So, what is predefined words? Predefined words in the sense, it is a built-in one. The user cannot define as he wishes. There is a some built-in. We cannot change it. There is a keyword. So each keyword meant to perform a specific function in a C program. And the main thing is that keyword name cannot be used as a variable name. For example, if you use the variable name like um, int, you cannot use it. the keyword has a variable name. The keyword name has a specific meaning for that keyword. There are 32 keywords where C supports. Some are like that is auto, break, case, care, const, continue, default, do, double, else, enum, extern, float, void, go to, if, int, long, register, return, short, for, size of, static, struct, switch, type def, union, unsigned, sign, volatile, while. These are 32 keywords that are available in C or the C supports these 32 keywords. I will give you one simple example to explain the keywords. So, first of all, header file have to include hash include std io.h. Coming to the main part, which is the starting of a program, followed by the opening flow braces. I'm going to show an example for a keyword. So, I have mentioned some of the keyword here. Let me take the int as a keyword. So, int. Int followed by the variable name. I will take it as a. So, 
closing with the semicolon. I will just show it to print. Okay. Percentage D, comma, A. Get CH to print in output in order to avoid a window closing. So, closing with the flower brush. Let me execute. Just need to compile this. Asking for an, um, let me say, PRG2 dot C. Save. So, zero errors are found. Okay, let me create another new project because you're showing some error like Include yesterday about dot edge main mm, and the keyword int I mentioned and give it as a. I want to print the a, so I will give it as the so or else I will ask for an value, enter the value for a so next time it is again for scan of percentage d comma and k Printed. Execute now. Let me give it as program. Two. Don't see. So zero errors are found. I'm going to run it out. So enter the value for a, I will give as 6. So it is entering the value. It's going to print the output as 6 only. Because I am just printing here the value what we are expecting from the keyboard. And we will close it out. This is nothing but the keyboard in order to show. I have shown here simple example. Int is a keyword. The same way we can give some other keyword and we will see the result. So, hope you understand this session. I am going to teach you some other tokens in next video. Thank you.